And there is a new, greener alternative to a traditional cemetery headstone that's important to know about, especially if you are all in on the fight against climate change. ABC's chief meteorologist, Ginger Z, has the story. We've all come from the earth, so we should go back to the earth as we have since the dawn of time. Beneath the vibrant green moss and gorgeous autumn leaves, in the soil of this winding nature trail, lie loved ones laid to rest in the original, natural way. It feels different than a typical cemetery. It, it feels lighter, it's not as heavy. Yes. Uh, and you know, the recreational aspect of it, to see people out here just enjoying the property feels good. Remembrance markings etched in real stones, not fabricated unnatural concrete, dot the winding trails. If the stone was not there, you would never know there was a burial there. Nature is incredibly healing. Yeah. Ed Bixby is the president of the Green Burial Council and owner of Steelman Town Cemetery and Nature Preserve. A natural burial means no embalming, no outer burial container like a concrete vault, a biodegradable burial container itself, and no upright monument set in concrete. But the biggest part of what we do is the family participation, so the family can be part of the entire process from start to finish. For 15 years, he's been reclaiming and restoring natural burial traditions, proving that going green doesn't have to end when our time here does. A traditional burial produces 250 pounds of carbon, whereas a green burial sequesters 25 pounds of carbon. Across the nation in Seattle, Washington, Katrina Spade has developed an option for those who might not have access to open green burial fields. I was approaching my 30th birthday and I started to feel mortal. <laughs> and I started to look into the options for my body after I died. And I found out of a practice that farmers use. And I thought if you can compost a cow, you can probably compost a human being. Surrounded by alfalfa, wood chips, and straw, the body is placed inside the vessel where it will decompose for more than a month. By the end of the process, each body will create one cubic yard of nutrient-rich soil, filling an entire pickup truck bed. I like to think about composting as what is happening on the forest floor all over the world, where you have dead leaves and sticks and your errant chipmunk all decomposing to create topsoil. In a lot of ways, human composting is taking that same process and putting it inside of a vessel and refining it and making sure it's happening in a really rigorous, closely monitored way. While our death does mean the end for our body, it can be a beautiful transformation of new life for Earth. Ginger Z, ABC News.